Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh. Glory to Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of GMS who were well. Peace and salutations. Peace and salutation to Lay Akim on four corners, pushing us here with sincerity. Peace be unto you. Shalom. Shalom. This uh, lesson is about uh, basically Eve. If uh, you don't know who that is, that is uh, the woman. The NB happens to be the the premier of the uh, wicked. You know, here it is. You're supposed to have, you know, uh, you saw Edom, who was supposed to be the, the devil, but these NBs, you're giving them a run for their money. The, 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 the how wicked uh, they are. And uh, basically, this uh, lesson is going to be about how basically uh, that Eve spirit is, you know, it's a wrap. You know, you have uh, the, the and, what, and when I say the, uh, the Eve spirit is a wrap or the Eve spirit is over, you know, more so going along the lines of how a lot of uh, NBs. They are into the uh, tarot cards. They're into the uh, astrology. You know, they're into, you know, mysticism and, and mystery schools and stuff like that. And that's the uh, what that's the, the basically the spirit that's that's on them. And those spirit those those spirits and demons be having them act out other ways. You got a uh, uh, NBs. And, and all women in general, but mainly, you know, I'm focused on the NB as this right now, the uh, Southern Tribe Judah woman. They are the ones that uh, in those those markets over there in India, they cut their hair. They have uh, they uh, it, it'll be Elamite women. They'll take a razor to their head and they'll cut it off and they'll sacrifice their hair to their gods. Of, of their nation and they you know sacrifice uh, with the belief that they'll get some type of blessing and you have so they take the hair and they give it to you know the, uh, the merchant and the merchant you know goes and you know who sells it and ships it to uh, America and they be putting uh, curses on them on those hairs and they be putting that hair in their own head so you got the, uh, the the spirit of the demons that's uh, just all over them, and they're into uh, palm reading. You have them uh, try to go to uh, psychics, uh, mediums, and stuff like that. But as you can see in the news, what's happening with these is they're catching all types of hell. Section eight ain't section eight like how it used to be. That shit section. Section two. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? What I was. <laughs> what, what I found out is they have like only like four or five people that do all the section eight, and like I think Metro and like uh, Metro Detroit and like uh, if I'm not mistaken, like Metro D, uh, 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 Wayne County and Oakland. If I'm not mistaken, there's only like five people, so the waiting list be long as hell. Then on top of that, you got people who already been on it. Who, who basically just sitting, been on Section 8 for, for for 10 years and ain't, you know, you know, letting up. So the, the days of the, the NB being able to get pregnant, get the man out the house, get on Section 8, and just live it up, those days is, is over. This is... So rock 25 Sirach so chapter 25 and verse 16 uh, I'll start with no I'll start up a little bit further than that I'll start with 13 Sirach so or Ecclesiasticus 25 Verse 13, give me any plague but the plague of the heart and any wickedness 
but the wickedness of a woman yeah, it's different you know we you, you grow up i remember at least speaking for me i know i'm speaking for a lot of other brothers too you think that the woman could do no wrong the woman's infallible you know the woman's the, uh, you know the uh the softer gender and they are supposed to be the softer gender but scripture talks about how that basically they you know they're like the ostrich that you know they don't even you know here it is a woman's supposed to be nurturing to her, to her her child and they're not the ostrich you know he uh, it, uh she'll forget where she laid her eggs and she'll trample them and a lot of these women they don't want to be mothers they you see how upset they are when the roe versus Wade got overturned and how of how upset they are when they're fighting against the uh abort uh, uh, uh a b pill the uh the the killer baby pill okay. you got that uh uh rapper you know sukiana you know popping uh plan b's on uh i believe that was instagram live you know to avoid you know having children well she have children already you know and in order to live the lifestyle that she wants, you know, she goes around promoting herself as a whole, you know, and basically making that lifestyle, you know, glorifying that lifestyle, you know, and teaching other women and even their daughters, you know, to do the same thing. You know, um, she already has children, you know, and her children's father came out and said that basically she's an unfit mother. You know, and that she abandoned her children. And that's pretty much the lifestyle that the majority of these women have, you know, which makes them cruel. You know, as it states within the book of Lamentations 4 and 3, it says, even the sea monsters draw out the breasts. They give suck to their young, young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel like the ostrich in the wilderness. You know, which... Um, the scripture that mates with this is the one in uh, Job, where it says that she leaves forgetting for her little ones in the in the in the sand, and she crushed them. You know, and that's the mentality and the mindset of our women. You know, which they basically sacrifice their children. You know, for a a life of of fame, a life of you know uh, partying, a life of happiness. You know, uh, mirth. You know, uh, a life of partying. You know. And then you have, um, you know, the nasty, disgusting, disgusting, you know, women of our nation that's just the, the, the trash of the trash, you know, that go places, you know, such as Miami, you know, they get popped by different men, they end up getting pregnant, you know, and catching STDs and whatever, you know, all of that is coming to a wraps, you know, there's a lot of judgment, you know, that's being issued out. And it's happening to women. It's not, it's not, you know, passing over them. It's not jumping over them. You know, for a long time, they, they thought that they were cool. You know, it was, it was, it was all, all right, you know, to have fun and, you know, no judgment was coming upon them, but now they're being judged. You know, you got women that are setting their um, ex-boyfriends, you know, bed on fire with, with, the, with him and, you know, his uh, new a woman and her her uh their child you know in the bed you know which that's um something that's all over the internet right now which shows you that you know men are are within their their right mind to basically flee the so-called nw you know or the the the, the so-called black woman you know and go and find you know, someone somewhere else, you know, another woman somewhere else, and a woman of another nation, because basically they're out of their fucking minds, you know, they have, they have lost it, they have lost their marbles, you know, they don't take any accountability, they can't do anything wrong, you know, if you uh, uh, come at them, you know, and tell them the things that they've done wrong, then, then basically, you know, they'll have every excuse to basically justify themselves. You know, so men are leaving them. You know, men are going out of the country. You know, men are, are, are getting their passport. You know, men are going after women of other nations. All right, because look, we don't need, 
you know, a so-called Israelite woman to bring back our nation. We can bring back our nation with other women. Back over here in Sirach 25. It says uh, 25 and verse 6. Sirach 25 and 16. I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. Man, that, if they, you know, they say picture worth a thousand words. This precept is worth a, a billion words. If you, you, don't, you won't know the depths of this until you've had to live with a wicked woman. You know, I've had uh, the displeasure of living with some wicked women, specifically my my mother, she was extremely wicked. You know, I didn't have to live like you know, a wicked spouse or anything. But my mother, she was. This was before, when I was in the world. You know, uh, very, very wicked. I mean, I could see how, you know, my my her and my father didn't work out. You know, my grandmother, she was very wicked. You know, they're 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 so wicked, and, and they always justify their wickedness yep. they think that it's okay they think that it's right they'll reason within themselves about how it's okay you can they can call themselves uh, so called believing in the scriptures you can bring something out in the scriptures and of course their feelings and their female intuition trumps whatever is in the bible because that was written by man and, and, and it's misogynistic. Yeah, it trumps, trumps the Heavenly Father. You know? Here it is, you're supposed to believe in the Heavenly Father, right? Or call yourself believing in the Heavenly Father. But uh, uh, I don't feel like, like that scripture, you know, is accurate. Or that's not the correct interpretation of that scripture. You know, a, the scriptures say that a, a, a sinful man will not be reproved but find an excuse according to his will. But that's women as well. And they do it even more. But then you got niggas, you know, that are with the uh, uh, audacity to say that uh, women are the strongest, most thing on earth outside of the Heavenly Father. You out of your damn mind? All right, which, um, when you go and read that scripture within uh, Second Ezra, the first shot or uh, first Ezra, he tell you that that truth is 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 more powerful than all. You know, but then what if you just bypass the elect of the heavenly Father? You know, you bypass your Hawashai. So the, the the most strongest thing on earth outside. You know, of the Heavenly Father is the woman. You lost your fucking mind. Or you've been hanging around, you know, those black consciousness too long. Because you starting to sound like one. You know? And then ultimately, that was an opinion. You know, you had three men that had their opinion. And that was the opinion of one. It's not like that was, that was um, like one of the beloved Achim said. That it's not like that that was something that one of the prophets said or it's not something that you know one of um you know like found within the book of wisdom all right hell hey you go into um a bible kushan can you grab uh um uh what is that uh proverbs 31 and 9 for me and let's find out what solomon said Because you got his mother, all right, uh, um, that basically gave him a proverb or whatever. And she said, she said, who can find a virtuous woman? This is Proverbs 31 and 9, started 9. Or yeah, they kind. Because okay. you had Tazariak said, even the scriptures say that a woman is virtuous. Well, when you go into the word virtuous, which we'll, we'll get into that as well. But if you can read that, Baba Kusha. This is Proverbs 31 and 9. Open thy mouth, judge righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and needy. Who can find a virtuous woman? 
for her price is far above Ruby's. So that that's a it's a question mark behind that. So the question was, who can find a virtuous woman? Well, let's look at the answer of, of King Solomon. All right, in uh, the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, uh, seven, Bible Kushav, you can jump to that now. You said uh, Songs of Solomon? Uh, Ecclesiastes. Oh, okay. Ecclesiasticus. And the reason it's re referred to rubies because it's, it's rare. Something that's, that's valuable is it's rare. So it's comparing a virtuous woman to rubies because... If, 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 if they were so plentiful, it wouldn't be compared to, to something as precious as rubies. It's rare. Uh, hey, the scriptures say, through the woman come the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Who's the first one to transgress? And, and it ain't like any of these women today are too far off from Eve in the beginning. Why do you think that we, we call them Eve? And the mother of them is a so-called black woman. She teaches them, all of the women in the world, how to be wicked. So Ecclesiastes, Selakia, uh, seven. Ecclesiastes chapter seven and verse, uh, the last three verses, 27. Behold, this have I found, saith the preacher, counting one by one to find out the account. So Solomon counted one by one. He counted one by one, he counted a thousand women and he counted a thousand men. And out of a thousand women, he didn't find any righteous, but you're gonna find out, all right, he didn't find no virtuous woman amongst them. And he counted a thousand men and he only found one. Go ahead. Verse 28, which yet my soul seeketh, but I find not one man among a thousand have I found, but a woman among a thousand have I not found. Yeah, so, so, <laughs> you know, where's the, where's the virtue at? You know, to find a woman that possess certain qualities and don't put you through no hell, don't cause you no problems, all right, and that agree with you, that's, that's a rarity. Especially within this time, if it was hard for Solomon to find it uh, back then, how much more so if in this generation? And, it, and also, it, it's not just like he was just, you know, I wonder if I can find it. said, my soul seeking. So he wanted to find I'm like, I know it's got to be, you know, I, with all the wisdom that's in me, I know I can find one. You know, because when you got, you know, all the riches that you can, your heart can think of, then you want to be around somebody that's righteous, a virtuous woman. So you looking for one. He said, I look, my soul seeketh. And hey, Solomon was a master at it. <laughs> he was a master. All right, he, he was, he was uh, uh, you know, so if anybody knew women, he knew them. Now, when you look up the etymology of the word virtuous, let's see if it, where, what it goes back to. And this is the reason why not many women are virtuous. You mind reading that, Bible Kusha? Virtuous, characterized by vigor or strength. Characterized by vigor or strength. Go ahead. Having qualities befitting a knight. Having qualities befitting a knight. Now knights were ultimately what? Knights were men. Which you had a... a the so-called code or way of living amongst knights, it was called chivalry. Now people mistake chivalry as being uh, the way that you're supposed to treat a woman. That's not what fucking chivalry is. And, and what really screwed up the mind of, of uh, men and women concerning chivalry is a, is a bunch of Disney movies. They always show the knight coming to save, you know, this, this, this woman in distress. That's not what it what knighthood was about. Alright? There was a code that came with it. And ultimately, uh, being the knight, you had to put the Heavenly Father and his son first. Alright, that was number one. Hey, the scripture says that um it says that you know 
that a, basically a soldier doesn't become entangled with this world so that he may please him who chose him to be a soldier. That was the mind state that a knight had, but a knight dealt with bravery, a, a knight dealt with uh, integrity, all right, being honest, not pussy begging or sipping. <laughs> Get it? Yeah, if the woman is the strongest thing on the earth, then why, why ain't she why, building shit? Right. <laughs> Or well, why would she need protection? Why well, she need help opening a pickle jar? You know, uh, 1 Peter 3 and 7 talks about uh, why I submit yourself to the husband and basically uh, calls them the weaker vessel. God. Not yeah. the stronger. Go ahead. Oh, it's a lot. You got it. Oh, that was it. I was, I was going to say, well, why is it? You see videos of, of, of women. Like, let's use, let's use the... the um, the S Somalian brick face. All right, you should know who that is. Brick face. All right, old old girl that got hit with the brick. She was popping all of that shit about how women don't need men and how women are strong, you know, and how women are this and that, you know, and and women are powerful and you know men are pointless. And as soon as she got popped in the fucking face with a brick. What did she start doing? She started begging the men around her for help. Well, wait, I thought women were the most strongest thing on the earth outside of the Heavenly Father. Why do they need uh, men to come to their defense and aid? Here it is, you are strong and daring men to hit you. And as soon as you get popped, now you want men to come to your aid? All right, but you women are about to pay even worse for your wickedness upon the planet earth. See, we're not the only ones that have to get in line. All right, the Heavenly Father is calling for the men first, obviously. All right, because he deals with them. All right, ye men. All right, uh, uh, are, uh, the, the flock. You know, roughly paraphrasing that verse. But you women have to get in order too. And for all of you rebellious, wicked-ass Israelite women that don't want to get in order, well, guess what? Eventually, the Heavenly Father is going to start issuing the underlying penalty. All right, it's, it's, uh, it's really the D-E-A-T-H penalty. And that's and women aren't excluded from that. All right, hell, even children aren't going to be excluded from that. And that's what makes this thing so fearful. You might finish reading that. Uh, kind of befitting the night, valiant, hardy, courageous. How many how many times have you uh, seen a woman? There's a mouse fly in the house, you know, run across, and they jump on a they they flip and lose they damn they damn mind jumping on chairs and and won't won't leave. Or there's a spider. Yep. Kill it. How, how courageous is that? Oh, now she got all the respect in the world for you <laughs> when it, when the spider hops on her. <laughs> <laughs> But I thought you didn't need a man. Obviously, you need a man to kill that spark. <laughs> you got it. Uh, uh, righteous, uh, courageous from old friends. Virtuous, righteous, potent. Righteous, but wait. Didn't King Solomon say that out of a thousand women, he didn't find none righteous? But he, out of a thousand men, he only found one. There's a little bit more on there. Uh, kind. Uh, righteous, potent, of good quality, mighty, valiant, brave. From Latin, from late Latin, virtuous, good, virtuous. From Latin, virtus, moral strength, high character. Whoa. Does women display moral sense in high character, especially within this generation? And the answer was no. How many women don't become so-called virtuous until they become older? But that's after they done played the whole. They got plenty of babies by different fathers. Now they want to become Christians. And hey, there was a woman that said that uh, Christian women Old, older Christian women ain't nothing but old hoes, you know, or ex old ex hoes. So basically, they become uh, um, too old to have any market value. <laughs> so now they rededicated that pussy to Jesus. <laughs> uh, moral strength, high character, goodness.
manliness, manliness. Oh, they say manliness. Now, that's the only thing that they got, you know? <laughs> 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 Out of all of those things, <laughs> the only thing that they got down packed is manliness. And that's because they were taught in this society, you know, to, uh, the roles were reversed. And really that begins with the, the heavenly father, you know, because it, it says that uh, he would create a new thing in the earth that a woman shall compass a man. You know, a, women are so manly, they even grow beards and mustaches. You know, I was watching the video of this woman and she got this disorder now she blamed it on, um, she blamed it on, you know, like a disease, but really that's just a curse. You know, she got a full beard. The body and everything else, the, even the facial structure is feminine. You know, she's an actual woman, but she has a full beard like a man. All right, the bearded lady, you know, like, <laughs> like it, uh, they used to have at the circus, you know, which a lot of times it was a tranny man, but Anyways, the, the point being is women are, are full of testosterone and they're, they're full of masculinity. So that's about the only quality that they have, you know, but all of the things that make a woman a woman, you know, besides the vagina and the, you know, and the breasts, you know, they don't possess. The only thing that they possess is the box. But then after you get that box, it's not even worth it. You know how toxic they are. Manliness, valor, bravery, courage, and war. Courage and war. How many women right now that are employed within the United States Army that complain, you know, about being in the Army and that want to go home? All right, hell, you had the uh, the one, I believe she was Latina. The chick is still on an uh, ongoing investigation, but however, she was murdered within the, the military because really, being in the military and in the army is not a place for a woman. Your place is to be where? Being in the streets ain't a place for a woman. Hell, being at a fucking job ain't a place for a woman. Your job is supposed to be at the crib raising children and being a fucking good wife. Not at a City Girl concert or a Sexy Red concert or at a hotel party. Now you now you underage drinking and you end up so drunk that you stumble into, you know, a uh, 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 freezer and freeze to death. And now now your family want to sue the hotel just because they want some fucking money. It ain't their fault. How about you take some fucking accountability? You got it. Excellence worth from vert man. From what? So the word, the root of virtue, virtuous, is virtue, and the root of virtue is what is man. You know, it goes back to the the Latin ver, which means man. So really, those are all of the qualities and characteristics that a man possesses. Oh, the only way that a woman can become virtuous is if she submit to her man and if she follow every instruction that he tells her. If he's a righteous man. That's the only way. Other than that, a woman ain't gonna be virtuous on her own because guess what? She's gonna find herself in all manner of wickedness. And the women of this, of this generation and of this time, they don't wanna be with no man. They wanna be single. And let's say for instance, even if they wanna be with a man, don't nobody want them. So they end up becoming le lesbos because don't no man want them. Uh, read more on that or Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Uh, one more verse in uh, Sirach, and then that'll be it for me. Okay, I like this. This is uh, Sirach 25 and verse 16. It says, I had rather dwell with a lion. Did I read that already? I'd rather dwell with a lion and a dragon than to keep house with a wicked woman. Yeah, I read that. Uh, one more. All wickedness, verse 19. All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. So they don't mind 
you know, doing wickedness. They'll do wickedness knowing that it's wicked and, and believing in karma, and they'll still do it. So it's, they, they, they feel like, you know, nothing's going to happen to them. Like, it's, it's, it's fine and it's okay. You know, so this is just another lesson, getting on the woman, get all high-minded, and, nah, you know, if, if, if you can... You know, avoid the, the, the envy as much as you possibly can. Because our hearts is truly snares and nets. That's right. All right, and on that note, hope this has been lettuce and been edifying. We want to give all praises and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders of GMS who were well. Peace and salutations to the lake. I keep on the four corners pushing the truth for sincerity. Peace be unto you and Shalom. Shalom.